All right, student, this is another topic. And here we shall see about the cross product or the vector product of two vectors. Suppose we consider two vectors, let's say a vector A and a vector B. These two vectors, they are lying in a plane. If the angle between the two vectors, let's say it is theta, then we define the cross product or the vector product of these two vectors a arrow and b arrow as a cross b equal a b sine theta times n cap. Okay, so here this a stands for the magnitudes of the vector a arrow, b is the magnitude of b arrow. This theta is the angle between the vector A arrow and B arrow. So that means this whole thing, A, B sin theta, it is the magnitude of the cross product A cross B. Okay, because you know, whenever we write a vector, let's say vector A, we have to express this vector both in magnitude and direction. So for this vector A, the magnitude is just A without arrow and the direction is always written as A cap. Or sometimes for the magnitude, we write with two parallel lines okay, and this letter A inside. So this two parallel line mean it is a modulus. So modulus, it is the magnitude. Okay. So if this A modulus stands for the magnitude of a vector A arrow, so similarly, I can say that this A B sin theta is the magnitude of A arrow cross B arrow. Or I can say the magnitude of A arrow cross B arrow. When I say magnitude, I have to write this right inside the modulus then this magnitude is equals to a b sine theta okay now what is this n cap this n cap is a unit vector which is perpendicular to both a r o and b r o okay if you look at this figure, this is the vector A arrow and this is the vector B arrow. Now, when you take A cross B, when you take A cross B, it means you are rotating the vector from A arrow towards B arrow through an angle theta. So when you do that, you will get a new vector which is pointing up. And this new vector, it should be perpendicular to the plane containing A arrow and B arrow. So that is why we have n cap here and this n cap it is what a unit vector which is perpendicular to the plane containing a arrow and b arrow all right okay now uh, there are uh, many rules which determines about the cross product of two vectors the first rule is known as a right hand screw a right hand screw rule okay so what does this right hand screw rule says now imagine you hold a screw on your right hand okay, like this you place the screw perpendicular to the plane of the boat like this now, if you rotate the screw in anti-clockwise direction, as you rotate, see the directions of motions of the screw. Okay, the screw is moving inwards. So that direction where the tips of the screw is advancing in this case, that will give you A cross B. Okay, so that is right hand screw rule. So please remember here that, right? If as you rotate the vector from A to B, then you get a 
vector which is perpendicular to a cross b. I mean which is perpendicular to both a r o and b r o. So we can use to find the directions of a cross b using right hand screw rule. So this is one rule. Second rule is you can write your right hand uh, right hand rule. Now this is my right hand. Okay. So if I call the fingers in this way, if I call the fingers in this way, then my fingers such that right if you call the fingers in such a way that the directions of my call fingers will point from rotations from A to B, like in this case. If this is my fingers, I stretch straight in this way and I call the fingers, I bend from. Initially, my finger stands for the directions of A vector. As I rotate through an angle theta, then I get a vector B. So now the thumb, the extended thumb, stands perpendicular to both a r o and b r o so this thumb will give a cross b okay so these are the two rules which are used to determine about the directions of a r o cross b r o all right